this is the Fort Hole Challenge. I'm down here at the beautiful Shire and I've been joined by former middleweight champion of the world. Also a top, top bloke and now a top pundit and top presenter. Cheers, mate. It's Darren Barker. Nice one, mate. How are you, mate? Nervous. Nervous? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I've got the shakes. <laughs> All good, though. All when was good. the last time you played? Three weeks ago. Three weeks? Yeah. I'm... Um, I was told that boxing, it should aid golf, the right. way you move in that. Okay. But I'm not so, too sure about that. No? Because I keep wanting to wallop the ball. Honestly, <laughs> I'm nice good. and calm and it's like, ah! <laughs> Come on, good so, on yeah. there. Um, yeah, we'll good. see then, won't we? That's What's your fair. handicap, pal? Well, I've got a, it's a 19, 19, but I put one card in, then my brother's put two cards in yeah. that match it, and they give me a 19, but there's no way I'm 19. 19. No, no chance. I'm off 16. No, no chance. <laughs> 28. On. Four, 28. Feel like my friend? Right, I've gone three wood. Because that's a part of my game I'm trying to improve, Daz. We'll see if we carry on with it. I'll pack it in. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy with that one. <laughs> oh, You're perfect Francesco Shotty. <laughs> <laughs> I've been given a new grip. Oh, okay. Just to get it round a little bit more. So That's, that feels weird. Do you so. know what, mate? That is my problem. I don't hold it properly. I hold it like that. I, yeah. I find it alien when you hold it oh, like that. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. But I have it a few decent shots, so I hope I can continue now. Come on, mate. <sighs> It's only golf. Come on. It's only golf. <clears throat> ah, always right. To be honest, if you're going to hit it right on this course. That's all right. Literally, it's all right. This is the uh, hole to do it on. <laughs> Got to get that first one out of course the way. Course knowledge. Darren, thanks again, mate, for joining me on the four hole challenge. Really appreciate it. I'm honoured, mate. Oh, thanks, man. Um, how long have you been playing for and who got you into golf? I would say on and off for a few, year, a few years now. Yeah. And, um, you know, like you go down the field with your mates, just get a golf club and just smash a ball. And then my brother, right, got into it. Yeah. Uh, he's playing off for five now. I've played with him. Yeah, he played with Lee, off. didn't he? Yeah. What a player, by the way. Yeah, so he's, um, I just started playing with him. And then when I come down here, I had a bit of a touch because I said, do you want to do a golf day, yeah. a boxing golf day? Yeah. And in return, we'll give you a membership. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yes, like, please. Like, yeah. <laughs> so as soon as you get the membership, you start playing more, don't you? So I was smashing the life out of it yeah. um, pretty much every day. Um, but just, I like, I want to, I've got to get playing. I've never had a lesson. I'm expecting to be good and never oh, had a lesson. It's, it's the most you know frustrating I mean? game ever. Yeah, but I, I love it. I'm just looking forward to someone organising a golf trip. My brother, by the way, he's going, he's doing California next year. He's doing loads of courses again. I think they're starting up in San Fran and going all the way down to Where's my invite? San Diego. Yeah. It's um, a trip. You're not going? Nah. I've got the about wife, half a dozen kids flying around, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> That's a no-go. I need a few more. I've got a football team. <laughs> But I've seen I've seen Tony Bellew on the golf course. Yeah. He says he's going to do this, which will be yeah. awesome. And Tyson Fury. But are there many other boxers that golf do you, uh, you know of? Well, Joe Calzaghe did uh, was on my golf day. He can play. Yeah. Cole Froch. Yes, I bet he. If Cole it's... plays a lot. He's out in Spain um, quite a, a lot, and he's uh, he belongs to a club over there, so he's playing all the time. Yeah. Uh, I actually, the last time I did play, weren't in the course, it was at the back of uh, the Matram gym yeah. um, in Brentwood. And um, where it is, it's a big house. And there's a, they've sort of made a golf course there. So I played with uh, Tony Sims, my trainer, who yeah. I had for 10 years. That's right. Um, and he beat me annoyingly. Uh, Did you give him a dig? <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even dare. Um, but yeah, I, Joe, what, I, f I think a few have been playing, but what I've noticed, right, with, with boxers, yeah. you know, uh, footballers seem to be good at everything. Yeah. You know, they're multi-talented at yeah, different yeah. sports. Boxers are at everything. 
<laughs> like, I, I've noticed bo boxers aren't very good at other things. <laughs> They're not. They're just good at getting punched and punching people. Honestly. Um, so you'll have a bit of a laugh. Boxers aren't good at any other things apart from nah. getting punched in the boat race. I know um, Spencer Oliver's been playing a little bit. He'd come down here a, few, uh, a fair few times. Yeah. Uh, and he can hit a ball, but he just looks so funny when he plays. <laughs> he really does. Um, Great hair transplant, man. Yeah. He's, I, went he's, the, he's, I went to the same place. Oh, did you? Yeah, look. It's kind of right, look. Look at that. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> got... You've got to have them little, the, what is it, P... Yeah, What's the the gear that, yeah, yeah. Blame it. Spencer Oliver, get him on here. Yeah. The hair transplant boys. Oh, that'd be funny. Right, where right, am there I? There you are, got you. You got me already? Yeah. Where? Darren Barker has 182 to the front. 182? 203 to the middle of the green and 221 to the back. <laughs> Shot. Shots. Yeah, I look too far left. That's all right, mate. Uh, stop. That's good. Shot. Bit, bit, bit hooky. Ah. One, six, three. I think you've got to be giving me a shot on every hole here. Shot on every hole. Darren's just asked for a shot on every hole. I'm harder than you, so. <laughs> Darren can have a shot on every hole. <laughs> Right, six iron. Get round. Oh, sh there's water there. Sh Have you gone in? I wonder. Do you need that shot on every hole? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, a few foot to the left there, you bang on. I oh, know. You're pin sh eye. Darren, as we said in the intro, you became a middleweight champion of the world. Mate, unbelievable. Cheers, unbelievable. Thank you, mate. But how did it all start? Were you just like double R as a kid? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, my dad was a boxer. Yeah. Like, uh, he was an amateur champion, ABA champion, which is the best thing he can win as, an, like, uh, as far as a national title is concerned. Yeah. And um, I guess he, he never pushed me into it, but growing up, knowing that my dad boxed, oh, I wanted to make him proud and I wanted to get into it. And um, we used to spar in the kitchen and mess about and all that. And then by the, by the age of about 11, I think it was, I went down to the boxing gym. I went on my own because I, I, I think my dad never wanted to push me into it. It's, it's so hard. So I think he wanted to see, you know, if I wanted to do it myself. So yeah. I went down there, got the bus to Finchy Boxing Club, where it was at the time. And um, that was it. That was my first fight, won it, and instantly addicted to it. That feeling it of that winning. Oh, yeah. the feeling of winning. Now, I'm naturally competitive as it is, um, but nothing, nothing has filled that feeling of winning a boxing fight yeah. since. It's just, honestly, yeah, the best feeling in the world. And yeah, I, I guess there was a bit of natural talent, you know? That's uh, what I'm going to say, because with a footballer, when the footballer's like young, you can tell like he's got it straight away. With a boxer, mm. is it natural talent or is yeah, it... Yeah, I think there is a little bit. Graph, graph, there graph. is a little bit, and there's, I think at that age, uh, having a bit of front and, uh, and believing in yourself and that with maturity, yeah. I, I didn't get hairs under my arms until I was about 16. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So at that young age, I was getting beat on maturity, not talent. Right, you okay. could always see that I could hold my hands up and I could fight, but... Um, yeah, maturity uh, used to get the better of me. And then I turned senior yeah. and it all changed. I started uh, smashing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Right, there I am. Already I'm not that too happy about this. I'm two shots, I'm here. You know, I oh, want to be... chip on. Yeah. Chip on. Pa. Yeah. So easy, isn't it? <laughs> so easy. Yeah, that's all you got to do, mate. up and yeah, down, pa, yeah. lovely. All right, you're going for the Jürgen flop? Yeah. I am notoriously bad for these clubs, but I've just got to keep plugging away with it. You know <laughs> exactly. what I mean? Exactly, hey. Keep Literally grafting. Keep grafting. plugging away with it. Fuck it. Good start, isn't it? All right, let's do this. Oh, sure. Ah, mate. 
Are you serious not happy with that? No. Nah. Got to be up that ridge there. Up the old Leon Ridge one. <laughs> <laughs> what is a shot? That never leaves you. That, bet, that fire, that. that that will to win, that desire. Like we're only having a mess about it, and I'm still like, <laughs> not like I'm trying to beat you. I want to do as good as I can do. Yeah. And it drives me mad. Honestly, I love it that. Really that does. But that's but you can tell. But is that you? He's safe. <laughs> he's, 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 he's only gone and saved himself. <laughs> Yes! I was really hoping that would be a bit of <laughs> tissue or something. <laughs> Not that I want to beat you. I hope it's in the bloody water. I hope it's in the water. But actually, practice shots. Right? <laughs> I, do. I never do practice shots. Do you know? No. Let's see if it works. Oh. <laughs> Get rid of them practice shots. <laughs> What are you going for the Jürgen or...? I'm going, to, I'm going to go for the uh, Punch and Judy. Jason Punch and... Come on, this is big. That looks good. That looks very good. Oh! oh dear me! He's giving himself a chance. Right, this is the part of my game that is horrific. What, putting? Yeah. Really? Yeah, there's no consistency with with length I'd say I just I, I'm well short and well long <laughs> a bit like me if I come out the shower <laughs> <laughs> mate I've got no I've got no length out of the shower <laughs> I'm always short sometimes I'm not at all <laughs> two belly buttons right well, what I can tell you here, Daz, is it's uphill. Yep. Massively. We should have had a practice on these. <laughs> Look, leather dip. Whoa. So, hold on, what's this? Bogey putt? Bogey bogey. Bogey bogey. And I've got shot. <laughs> You've got shot every hour. <laughs> Take it. Right. Me to throw first. You want to go, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's left the door open. Right, what was this? Uh, Bullard thing then. <laughs> <laughs> to, to this day, I still don't know. I wouldn't have a clue right, here. So what he's saying, he's like, you're feeling the green with your feet. And then he it's says... Wet. Then he, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice down the shire. The green's nice of the shire. And then you hold the fingers up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to hit it. I'm just going to hit the ball. Mind you, you've got two putts to win this. I always get nervous when I do these practice swings. I see a thing with Rory McIlroy once. Yeah. Do you know when you're saying about practice swings, yeah. he'll never go up to the ball and go when he's putting. Oh, really? Yeah, he'll get his line, he'll mooch about, but he'll never do that. He'll just go straight up and he'll hit it for the first time. Oh, so he never has never, that? Never, never does it. We watch him when That's I see it. That's interesting, that. Never does it. I thought I was here for a chat about boxing. I'm getting gold, I'm getting <laughs> golfing tips. That's awesome. <laughs> McElroy! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> that is unbelievable. Darren Barker, one up on the four hole challenge. I love this. Guess quality. Right, par five here, aren't we? Par five, beautiful hole, but an absolute ball lake of a hole, isn't it? Well, do you know what? This and the next hole yeah. are my worst down here. Really? Uh, I just can't. The next long par three, this. Uh... <laughs> Not having it. <laughs> Not having it. I'm not doing myself any favours here, am I? Ah, uh, ah. Uh... Keep an eye on that. Yeah, yeah you're I good. Got it. Cheer, oh, hang on. That ain't so bad. Lovely there. little bounce that. If it rolls down a little bit. <laughs> got away with it. Oh, 
I mean, oh. this is perfect. As perfect can be. Split in the fairway, look at that. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> comebacks on, the comebacks on. Three wood all the way. So Darren, you won the British title, yeah. the Commonwealth title, yeah. the European title. Twice. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Times two. Um, but when you went for your first uh, world title attempt, you're in the ring. <laughs> I know where you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> absolute liberty. Michael Buffer. Darren. Baker! Yeah, I got bakered off, didn't I? got absolutely bakered <laughs> off. Bakered off. What a liberty. Yeah, do you know what? It was funny because that whole build-up to that fight, it was, it was all a bit... The, the Americans were laughing at me because I was, I was in there. I was this unknown sort of Brit, European champion. I was unbeaten, but yeah. no one had heard of me. And then I'm fighting this future Hall of Fame of Sergio Martinez. Year previous had a knockout of the year against Paul Williams, like just an absolute beast. And the fight after that, he fought a Ukrainian Sergei Zinzaruk, knocked yeah. him down about eight times, and then I'm stepping in with him. No one's heard of me, so it was all a big joke anyway. Um, well, they thought it was, no. but I yeah. was always there to upset the cart. And then, yeah, I get in the ring. Um, <laughs> yeah, then he he bakered me off. But <laughs> I remember looking straight at Eddie off. again. Rolling my eyes, thinking that they ain't even got a clue, but it, it, it got me going. To be fair, I thought I'll show them. I and bet. It I lost the fight. Don't get me wrong, but but what was it? Eleventh round, wasn't 11th it? Eleventh round, yeah. And weren't you on top? I was probably at that point losing, but about the right. midway point, there was nothing in it, and I took a lot of confidence from it. You know, he perforated my eardrum in the tenth, and I couldn't feel my legs when he done me. I was just gone. Um, but you don't know how good you are until you get in with someone of that calibre. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got a clue. And I learned a lot about myself there. And I had, I was out of the ring for a long time after that, about 14 months, I think. Um, man, the rest is history, mate. It's a big ditch down there. See where the, obviously where the bridge is, but. Oh, uh, well, look, I've got to go for it, haven't I? Well, you say that, you've got a shot on every hole. Yeah, probably go for it, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> It's a terrible lie as well. Uh, That's another thing I ain't really sussed out when you're on a slope, what oh, way it's going I'd, and all that. I'd love to help you, and I, I seriously would, but I honestly don't know either. It's... Right. I just... I'm going to punch this out, I think. No, I ain't. <laughs> The boxer, no, right. the boxer inside of him, he's not punching anything out apart from an absolute belter. Oh, oh, oh. Get over. Oh. Yes, <laughs> get in there! <now. laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, there weren't oh, much in that. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, what a shot. That, that would be my best shot of the day, that. No pressure, mate. Oh. <laughs> Mate, if you can get it somewhere in between that tree and the bunker, you're sweet. He's got to be the trusted seven iron. Right, come on. Play a, play a hole where every shot is half decent, please. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, no. you're right. Oh no! Oh! What's happened there? <laughs> Flipping it. Absolute heck. John Virgo trick shot. <laughs> <laughs> <Popped out. laughs> yeah. You did, you did a one two with a ditch. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yes! You're sweet there. So, Darren, then you went on second attempt. Middleweight champion of the world. How good was that when, yeah, when they I, called out your name? I'll never get bored of that. Never get bored. Yeah, uh, job done. You know what I mean? Like, I persevered 23 years of box four, and it was hard. It's so hard with injuries and not so low at the tone, but my brother died who I boxed with. 
um, and everything was in his memory. And it just—it was just an hard journey, you know. So to get there and finally do it with Michael Buffer, he got my name right. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean, he got him, uh, he barked him off his time. <laughs> yes, he barked me off. Yeah. Um, in Atlantic City, where I lost the fight to yeah, Martinez, right. so it was like um, bittersweet, I guess. Uh, it was just like I struggled to put it into words. Like I c there is not a retired fighter yeah. happier than me. Like oh, I've content, I've done the lot. Yeah. I remember Tony Sim saying to me when I turned pro, um, like Dad, this is what we're gonna, this is how we do your journey. We'll go Southern area, Commonwealth, British, European, and world title. And I remember sat there with Tony going, "What? Do you yeah. think I'll do that?" And he goes, "Look, he, he really believed in me, Tony. He said, look, if you really believe in yourself, you can do anything you want." And I remember thinking, flipping it, right, let's get this journey going. And when I look back to that moment, and we did everything, we won yeah. every title, I was like, I can't believe That's it. That's amazing. I can't it? believe That's it. Amazing. It's crazy. And you did mention your brother there, that you tragically lost yeah. uh, due to a car crash. I mean, well, well, first of all, I'm so yeah. sorry to hear it. No, about thanks, man. And all your family as well. But that must have been hard, especially in that yeah. boxing game. Like, mm. How did you deal with it? Not very well to start with, if I'm honest. You know, boxing is such a lonely sport, yeah. especially when you turn pro, which I was at the time. And any friends you got or family that understand the sport of boxing, if they're, if they're doing it with you or, or they're on the journey with you, it makes it that little bit easier. Yeah. And when I lost my brother, I was like, Fliff, well, he ain't there anymore. And I was young and I, I just went off the rails, you know, just, just doing what lads do, just being a bit of a bit of a plonker if I'm honest and, yeah. and abusing that, the fact uh, that he died and but as time went on I just realised that something was missing and I thought to myself look if I can't do boxing with my brother I'm going to do it for him That's and I had a nice. different approach to the way I looked at things I just thought look everything I can uh, dedicate to my brother yeah. and every single title bar the southern area yeah. I was able to do so. I won all of those after my brother died and every single one is in memory for him. So, you know, that, that was another reason when I win that world title at the end, yeah. I, I fall to the floor That's and I'm crying. It, yeah. and it, they're not, I wouldn't say they're happy tears, if I'm honest. Um, initially, it was like letting go of my brother. Yeah. I'd done the lot and it was like, we've done it sort of thing. And it was, it was sad. And then straight away when I got in the bar, it was, it was happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got a wedge here. Wedgie Blinker. Wedgie Blinker. Good player, he, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Do you remember when Ian Wright pulled his hair? <laughs> <laughs> On the pitch. That's <laughs> 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 absolutely superb. It was so childish, it was sensational. <sighs> oh, f mate. Mate. Get down, get down. Mate. Oh my God! <laughs> I'll take that, mate. Twenty-eight. <laughs> you want that in a shot? No, that shot of holes getting stuck. Hold on, what are we saying there? What has Birdie part in it? <laughs> I know he's hard, but I'm gonna have to put a stop to this shot of hole because. <laughs> He's got him for a birdie. <laughs> and Darren, you know on this channel, yeah. you get a birdie. I've seen it. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I get a birdie, you're going to see the enthusiasm with my birdie dance. <laughs> I want him to get a birdie now. Front edge. Oh, nice. Oh. I mean, it's no Darren Barker, but I take it. You take him, and you? Birdie putt as He's well. He's dancing. Dance, 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 dance machine. <laughs> Look at these couple of beauties. Oh, do, 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 oh do, no, it's, do, like, as you get, do, it's always that, though, when, yeah, it, when you, you get go, closer. Oh. <laughs> it's actually nowhere near. Right, but I'll tell you what, you are not far away. Good pace. Oh. Tell you what, that's a decent putt. Still chicken on that bone though. Right, I forgot me marker. So I'm gonna go with that little piece of there. Right. Don't don't put the pressure on me, alright? 
No one wants to do that dance more than me right now. <laughs> I'm telling you. Right, I'm going to do the mackerel, all right? I'm yeah. not going to... Bottled it. Oh! Bottled it. Yeah? It's a par... Yeah, yeah, of course. It's a par... I've decided after seeing you in the last two holes, you're not having no, a shot. No, no, <laughs> shot's dead. You watch that, it'll all go tits up on the next <laughs> hole. It's the longest, horriblest par three ever. But if I miss this... You can't lose, unless you give it to me. From there. <laughs> I'm going to do the mackerel as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Barker still <laughs> one up on the four hole challenge. <sighs> Right, Darren Barker is one up uh, with two to play. And I'll tell you what, there is no way he is a 28 handicap, <laughs> which he stated because he's on flames. <laughs> <laughs> this is my worst hole. Yeah. <laughs> you said that one was your worst hole, you nearly burned it. One of my worst holes. <laughs> this is my worst hole. I'll leave it out. Oh. Oh, Lewis Bunk. Oh, I mean, I'm lucky to be fair. That ain't it the green, because that goes that straight around the going. back. Right, he's letting me in. Whoa. Oh, oh. You, oh, you're no. in the, uh, you're the other side. <laughs> We're having a bunker off. <laughs> Jesus. Darren, there's loads and loads of characters in boxing. But which one stands out for you? Who's the funniest bloke oh, around blimey. boxing? Do you know what? I, I would struggle to give you a name. I, I, I really would. Look, boxing's a working man's uh, sport. Yeah. Um, so there's loads of characters. Yeah. Most of the characters I come across were in the amateur game when I was at Repton, my old amateur club. Some of the wind-ups were on another level. There was, um, there was a geezer, Danny Appy, and he told one of our other teammates because um, obviously his, his boxing is a weight making sport you're always having yeah. to make weight and he, this bloke was complaining about his weight in the changing room yeah. and this Danny Appy said look I've heard and he's tried and tested you can eat as much McDonald's as you want as long as you finish with two pints of milk afterwards it's something happens to your body and it just it, you get shredded so this is on the Friday right he's coming on the Monday he's about half a stone over <laughs> He goes, you never done it, did you? He's done it. Well, he he actually believes it. Because you can cane as much McDonald's as you want, anything. Do the whole menu. As long as you have two pints of milk after, it does say to your body and you come out of it. <laughs> so there was loads down at the Repton. There were some real good characters. And then I think later on in my career, when I became like the senior man, me and yeah. Tony were just constantly winding up the younger lads. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I'm always on a wind up now. When I'm going on these matchroom shows, I'm always getting told, like, pack it in, pack yeah. it, I can't <laughs> help it. it out, like in, down the gym, yeah. Lee Purdy was a good fighter, British champion. He went in the showers after training once. Yeah. And I've got Tiger Balm out of his bag, his, his Tiger Balm, and I've laced his pants with Ooh. the Tiger Balm and he's put them on and Tony's in on it. So we're yeah. sitting there talking to him and all of a sudden his face is just going bright red. You know, like red face emoji. He's going to blow up in a minute. And he goes, oh, I love you, darling. <laughs> another one, another lad. Um, you got, do you know what? It's such a hard sport. You've got, there's yeah. got to be someone who's going to be like, on a wind up because yeah. you've got to keep spirits high because it can get harder. You're losing weight, you're all fed up. Um, and the nature of the sport's so hard. Absolutely. Um, uh, I said to Tony, I'm gonna do, I've got this chilli sauce in my bag, it was called Arse Blaster, right? It, I put it on my tongue and I'm good with chilli, it, yeah. ridiculous, right? So I went, do me a favour, it gives you Tyler Good John, I went, Tone, do his gloves up first, yeah. and we'll put his head guard and gum shield in after so he can't no, take it no, out. No. So he's got his gloves on, and I've laced his gum shield with this Arse Blaster chilli sauce, <laughs> and I've gone, Tyler, bash! And it was a fitted gum shield, he couldn't get it out, he goes, Arse! <laughs> 
I've done it with the half blaster, haven't I? <laughs> you had to go and spar eight rounds after that. <laughs> Where's, <another? laughs> yeah. Where's this club? Just yeah. the... Oh, mate. And all talking about things like that, those face offs, how awkward are they? Yeah, I, to be honest, mate, I, like, I've had a different approach to all of the trying to act hard thing. I, I had, um, I was like reverse psychology. I used to think if I look soft, yeah. But when I get in there, I start giving it to him. Like, right. Flipping out, I weren't expecting that. Right, so I that. never, never engaged in any of that. But yeah. But when you're so close to each other, you yeah. just not just want to piss yourself laughing. Yeah, yeah, like. We did a face-off, funny enough, a face-off. It wasn't the one at the weigh-in, it was the one at a press conference. And it was that Martinez fight I was talking about. Your first about. one, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm in New York. Me and Eddie flew out there for one night for yeah. this press conference. It was incredible. And um, we go we go up there and it's all oh, Sergio Martinez, this, that, that. He's the main man. Yeah. And we had to do this face-off. And he'd done that, he couldn't stop laughing. He could, he, couldn't, he could not stop laughing, but then I started laughing. I thought, this is proper sore. Like, we're about to smash each other's heads in in a few weeks' time. And we're like, <laughs> like two giggling schoolgirls. Yeah. And I think they just got a little shot of us, and we're both like, it's. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. Oh, I love it. What will probably happen here? Right. Two things. I'll hit the lip. Or it'll end up near your ball in your bunker. <laughs> Flipping heck. Listen to your brother, what's your brother's tip? So the, the ring round it, yeah. hit that, not the ball. So. Ring donut, so that's the jam in the middle. Yeah, where am I going here? Oh, I don't like this, tubes. <laughs> See, oh. just fluffed it. <laughs> he's, let, he's let me in. Oh, hang on. That's better. That's if I can get better. that bogey. And that's a harder shot. Yeah, I don't know what I've just melted there. I think that's a harder shot. That let, me, let, to me be know, honest, let me know at home if that's a harder shot closer to the bunker or further away. I, I felt more confident there. Why? Don't know, because I was nearer to the hole, I think. Yeah, but that, yeah, but that, <laughs> that's, that's what, I don't know these things about golf. Surely it's easier when you've got more distance away from, let us know golf people, because I have no idea. Oh God, I'm so nervous. Stop, 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 stop. I'm out. You're out. I'm out. I, I thought you was going to go in my bunker there. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> so did I. So I. I'm bogey part, you're par oh. part. Could go, all go down to the last, but it's not over yet. Right. I fancy you from there as well. This is not easy. Keep going, keep going. Oh, it's, Ooh, it's just that fringe, wasn't it? What a tit. Go on, regroup, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You put this in, it's absolute pressure Rooney. So, this double, time, and yeah, I told you, I'm just <laughs> double, double, double. Darren Barker got a double. <laughs> Bogey. <laughs> followed, followed, followed <laughs> by tubes in a minute. <laughs> 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 so what's that? Old square? Old square onto the last golf life. It's the old <laughs> come on.
Oh my God. That is spot on. Oh my God. Bang on, bang on. No pressure. Oh, hello. Right back at you. Swell oh, shoulder, oh, oh, that. Oh, what do you mean, it's still going, look, it's still going. See, that's the problem when you're using irons. <laughs> any old iron, any <laughs> old iron, any, any, any old iron. Nah. So Darren, you obviously <laughs> achieved all your goals actually in the ring. And now you're a pundit stroke presenter. And I've got to say, mate, you've taken to it like a duck to water. Cheers, hey, mate. You're brilliant. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I love it. It's like, uh, it's the, boxing's my life. I love it. I, I, you know, I can't imagine not having boxing in, in my life. So to be able to be at all of these shows where I'd be as a spectator, yeah. to be at them working and calling them, commentating or working before, it's just like, it's, I can't believe it. Yeah. Because it's not something I pursued. It just kind of, I don't know. If, I, 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 I couldn't even tell you how it all started, but um, I'm doing it and I'm, I'm over the moon, mate. There's a boxer who boxed um, a couple of weeks ago. He fought twice, actually, on these shows. Kane Baker. Yeah. And he won in Peterborough. Um, and he said he's a boxing fan with a license. Right. And I can relate to that, you know, because I was as well. I was a fan of sport when I was boxing and I had a license to be able to do it. And I feel like that now. It's almost like I'm a fan, but I've got a license to work in it. So it's a TV license. Yeah, <laughs> TV license. I have paid mine. <laughs> <laughs> shut the curtains. That's what we used to do when we were kids. <laughs> yeah. There's a knock on the door, shut the curtains. <laughs> yeah. Do you find it hard to, like, you know, you speak to some football pundits now and they go, Oh, at first I didn't like digging people out saying he didn't perform well or he's not... Do you find that difficult? Or yeah, a little bit, because yeah. I'm mates with a lot of people, but I always think is it now, if I am being harsh in some way or another, it's like constructive criticism. You yeah. know, I don't, I'm, not, I'm never nasty with no. it, but if I, you know, if I feel that like someone could have done better in a certain way, I hope that they might watch it and sort of take it on board, which I would. I'd have been fed up if, I, you know, when people have caned me a little bit. Yeah. But it's, it's, how you, it's how you take it, you know. Um, Absolutely. But you upset Joshua, didn't you, recently? Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, and I, and I, for, I, I, I forgot this. about it. I, it weren't far from here. <laughs> so basically, uh, a bloke at Sky, James Tyne, and Ramsey said, I know said, James. Yeah, yeah. Will you, uh, can you give me a prediction for uh, AJ Fuhr if it happens? I went, yeah. yeah, yeah, sweet. So currently now, just the, with what's been going on and how Fury's looked and oh, yeah. beaten the, one of the biggest punchers ever in heavyweight boxing. Destructed him Destroyed as well. him. Yeah. And he won the first fight, didn't he? So yeah, really, absolutely. you know, he's not even been close to getting beat. He did earlier in his career, almost. But um, he's looked so good. He's shown that he can box on the front foot against Wild Eye on the back foot. And he just looked, you know, um, unbeatable. Yeah, yeah. Which he, he is up until this point, where Joshua has lost. So look, I said, it's a tough one. I said, if anyone can beat Fury, it's AJ. But right now, I'd have to pick uh, Fury. That yeah. boss is going to go straight in your eye. Um, knock it out, knock it out. Still got it. <laughs> still like a beat. Um, so I said, yeah, look, I said, right now, Fury, until he gets beat, it's hard to go against him. Absolutely. But if anyone can, it's AJ. So it was in a, you know, a diplomatic way. Yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot all about it. So about two months have passed. I'm picking my sister up. She'd been out and I'm driving down here and I get to the bottom where Southman's roundabout is yeah. and uh, it goes from one lane into three because you go on the roundabout. Right, yeah. um, so I'm on the phone to my mate and I've looked in the rearview mirror and AJ's behind me. Right. So I have, and Joshua's behind me. So we, the green light goes and we go into the three lanes. He goes next to me. So I've got my arm out like that and waving. He puts his window down and he goes, Hey, Parker, man. You and Fury. You and Fury. <laughs> I've gone like that. <laughs> <laughs> I went, ah, oh, you know, I've got, I swallowed it big yeah. time. <laughs> I went, ah, oh, you know, what's going on? I went, but prove me wrong. Yeah. You know, I look forward to you proving me wrong, blah, blah. Um, and then he's going, that's all love, it's all love, blah, blah. And then he, he looked at me, and I'm swearing here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He goes, yeah. he looked at me and he went, trust me, Barker, I'm going to f him up. He goes, I'm going to f him up and then he drove off right <laughs> it goes green i'm still stuck there he went i'm gonna f i'm gonna f 
Okay, boy! <laughs> As he's driving off. I'm all flipping. He means business here. I'm going to him again. Yeah. AJ wins all day. But if he does win Andy Joshua, I'm going to take some credit for that. Yeah. You know, I've got him going. All, da all down to you. <laughs> yeah. All down to you. But look, all jokes aside, I really hope that fight does get made it's got ASAP. To happen, it? You know, for me, it'd be the biggest grossing fight yeah. in boxing ever. You know, it's just. Got to what? wait until the fans are back. And yeah, get yeah. It on. It'd be interesting to see what happens come December if, if uh, a number of fans would be allowed in for yeah, the O2. Yeah. I, don't, like, I don't know, but that fight definitely, definitely needs uh, spectators. Oh, and look, you know, let's hope that the first fight is that good that we have another one. Absolutely. Joshua or Fury, who are you going for? Let us know down below. <laughs> Ah, there you oh. go. Head up, everything. I've smashed the life out of it. That's shank. <laughs> super, super shank. Super, super ah, shank. I've crumbled, super, haven't I? Super shank, super shanky up. Lampard. Oh. I'm going for it, Daz. Hey? I'm going for it. How Probably far you be. got? Five iron. Yeah? Gonna go for it. Probably the worst thing I've ever done. On but we'll give it a go. Oh no, why did I go for it? Oh, it's come out of it. Has it come out of the other end? I, I did see it bounce up there. I got away with it. Surely I can't do worse than the last shot. <laughs> Is this the biggest golf shot of your career to date? Probably. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Wait. Look at that for a nine iron. <laughs> What a shot! That is a big Chelsea fan. Come on, the Chelsea. And you're good mates with Jodie Morris, aren't you? Yeah. How do you know Jodie Morris? Do you know what? I, get, I don't know how we... Some, I, I think it may have started through social media, I don't know, but we just, um, yeah, we sort of hit it off. It's like a mate of mine now, I've been with a good few years now. He come to a good few of my fights at, at yeah. the end of my career. And he's a top lad. Great guy. Top, top bloke. Play you, you play football with them, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, we're, we're in a Vets team, West London Rams, and yeah. that stems back from when he was assistant with Derby, Frank yeah. at Derby. And our kit is the Derby's oh, really? last season's third kit or away kit. Amazing. Led kit. Yeah, yeah. So Jody's on the book, so he, it was International Week and he played with us. Still mustard, yeah? Different class. Different class. That's bossed. Just absolutely bossed it with ease, you know, like didn't get out of first gear, just yeah. like chest outside of the foot. Thanks just come in, just see ridiculous, you later. ridiculous. And uh, if he watches this, he'll laugh because they were whipping balls into the back stick. I was, <laughs> I was right mid, and like all crap footballers, they blame the pitch and they're whipping balls in, and I'm, I'm missing every single one on the back. <laughs> on the back, I should have scored about four, yeah. and I think the last one, Jody's on the sideline, he come off. And he was just giggling, he's like, <laughs> poor son. He's missed about four or five of him. But I scored. I scored last weekend. So I'm, I'm in, I'm ready, I'm off and running. You Rams. But yeah, he's different class, I mate. Him. I've had three, haven't I? Yeah, you're part you, of the birdie. And you're your third, it's your third, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna. You know when you know with the lovely people comment when we ask questions. I wish they could. I wish we could do a live version, like so I know what to. Because it's got to be. It's got to commit, and I. Practice swing. Practice swing. Practice swing. 
Line the ball up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so these are both birdie putts. Oh, I mean, even when I squat down like this, I don't know what I'm looking at. It just looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> just do the jimmy as well. Yeah. <laughs> Before you take that shot, last question on the four-hole challenge. Go on, mate. Someone I ask everyone, if you could have a caddy for the day, anyone, past or present, <laughs> any walk of life, who would it be? 18 holes, carry your bag. Mike Tyson. Imagine that, no one, everyone's gonna let you through. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to wait for anyone. Is, are you sure that's a given? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Mike you know what? Tyson. I, I would, it would be tight. He was my favorite, and yeah. I've got another quick story of him. Uh, my hero growing up, loved him, how ferocious he was. Funny enough, the polar opposite to me. Yeah. But I think that's why I, I love watching him so much. He fought over against Julius Francis. And um, my dad heard that in the morning, he was going for his run around Hyde Park. He was standing on the Gro uh, Grosvenor House Hotel on Park Lane. Yeah. So he went, come on, let's go up. We'll, we'll see him leaving, going for his run in the morning. So we got there. And the security guard went, oh, if, you, if you're waiting for Tyson, he's been and gone, he's back in his room. But if you come back at about 10 o'clock, he'll be doing his session or whatever the time was. The security guard's been letting a few in to watch him train. Amazing. So I went, all right. So I went around the corner, I sat in the weed. And we've gone to the back and there's loads of people there. And uh, one of his team come out and went, bang, 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 bang. And me, my brother and my mate, my two brothers and my mate. My, they wouldn't let my dad in. Uh, I think there might have been like the capacity or something. So yeah, my dad yeah. went, I'll wait if, yeah. So we walk in and we're going to get to meet Mike Tyson and watch him train, right? Buzzing. So I'm walking and as you're walking through, there was like another couple of people. They went, when you're in there, sit down, you know, don't, no uh, photographs or anything, wait till afterwards, yeah. okay? Uh, and he'll, he'll happily have a photo of you, blah, blah. So they set out these ring, uh, chairs right by the ring. Sat there, and all of a sudden, Mike Tyson walks in, and I said to my brother, he had one of them little disposable cameras with a flash. I went, I'm getting, I ain't missing this opportunity. So I went straight up to him. Yeah. He's like walking past me, and I went, Mike, Mike, can I have a photo? And he went, sit down. <laughs> Bang! I, I folded into the chair like that. No. <laughs> myself. Can you imagine? I want Mike yeah. Tyson to push me over. Um, so anyway, right, it's really funny. It, it, he spars, we get to watch him and all that. Yeah. Brilliant. And afterwards, he goes, come here, come here, mate. Let's have a photograph, blah, blah, oh, blah. Nice. But my brother was that scared, he didn't put a flash on. No. So you can't, like, you can't make it out. There was a big light behind us or something, and you can't really see anything. <laughs> like, you can't really see anything. Because oh. he was so scared, like, he was yeah. a caged animal. Like, <laughs> he's going to go mad. Uh, but it just made me love him even more. That's I thought, cool. like, he was just double hard. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> double scary. Get away. Get yeah. away. Have you got that photo? Yeah, I have. Can I put it on it? I'll have to try and find yeah. it. I'll have to try and find it. It's somewhere. It'd be hard work to find, but right. it, is, it is there somewhere. Amazing. Assaulted by Mike Tyson. Yeah, ledge. <laughs> Not in the ring. Get up. <laughs> this is an odd part. Oh! <laughs> There we go! The bag's gone! <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> oh. Yeah, well, hold on, shall I finish up? Yeah. Take it away, mate. Yeah, yeah. alright, you're giving me it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice, he's giving me it, he's giving me it, he's giving me it. <laughs> right, it's a par. <laughs> I've, you, never, I've never seen someone take a gimme so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> right, this to win. The four-hole challenge, if not, it's a draw. Oh, what? I love it. I seriously love it. I should have had one, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah! Well done, mate. That was the 4 old challenge. That was a legend. Well, that was good. Darren Barker. Uh, please like and subscribe. I bloody love doing this channel and I just want to carry on doing it and doing it. I'll get one next time. <laughs> what a game.
Well done, mate. <laughs>